Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the countdown? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. From Columbia, South Carolina. That's me. What's going on? What's going on? That's me. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Let me tell y'all something. Personally, outside of this interview, I had shoots with Turner, and when I say life changing, I don't know nobody who can edit like you in the city. Oh, uh, you too kind. Don't, don't boost me too much now. Listen. Don't make a black man blush in here. Now. <laughs> Speaking on black men, black men, you deserve it. Shout out to the black men clap if you're a black man. Black kings, where y'all at? So let's go ahead and get this interview started um, because what we want people to know is the man behind the camera, the purpose, the reason why you do what you do and you are who you are. So um, my first question for you is, what got you started? What was your inspiration? So I had an interesting start into the photography. Mm. So I'm an actor first. Okay. Um, that's, what, that's what I started out doing first. Photography was never in question like at all. Wow. So I went to USC Aiken, just graduated in May 2020. And, Congratulations! Uh, thank you. Thank you. I was glad, you know what I mean? But anyway, um, I went to school for acting, and um, you have to take an elective class, you know, you have to be well versed in the arts. So they made me take a photography class. And I walked in there, I didn't even have a camera. I just walked in and I was like, hey, I'm Dion, what's going on? Uh, I gotta take this class. And she was like, where's your camera? I'm like, camera, I can use my phone. So I started off just taking pictures with my phone in the class. So photography wasn't even on my mind, but through that wow. class, the rest is history. So that's how I started. So my question for you, um, my next question, since you're talking about photography, um, as the person behind the lens, what is your point of view? How does it feel when women or clients or men come to you and they say, yo, thank you for capturing my vision or for making me feel beautiful? Right, okay, so that's a good question. So, I mean, it's um, you get a sort of feeling of fulfillment, mm. like seeing that you help somebody realize their true beauty. Yeah. Like I'm, real, I'm real big on loving yourself, yes. loving who you are. Yes. In this society, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. In this society, it's easy to start looking at other people and looking at the celebrities and you want to be like them. But I try to highlight the beauty that everyone has, the everyday person, because we're all beautiful. And it's my job to capture that and um, enhance that sometimes. Yes. So that's what I focus on. So I love it when clients tell me, you made me feel beautiful. You make me uh, love myself more. I have more confidence because of your work. Like That really means a lot to me. So with most of your um, clientele being black women and being females, right. um, and with this topic, you know, black women not feeling protected or right. black women not feeling respected, you as a black male and a black male in a industry that promotes um, body positivity mm -hmm. or sometimes body shaming, right. what right. advice can you give to women and how does it feel when a woman steps to you in front of your camera and she doesn't feel like she's herself? Gotcha. So the first thing I bring to their attention, okay, you're in front of me and you want to take pictures. That's a start. You're already taking that, that first yes. step in the right direction, feeling that courage to get your pictures taken. So that's a start. And usually that always makes them feel at ease initially. Like, okay, you know, I'm here, I'm getting my pictures taken, I'm here for a reason. The second thing is, and I don't mean to get too deep, but you know, God don't make mistakes. God don't make so mistakes. So he made you that way for a reason. Yes. Like you, you were built the way you are for a reason. Yes. Somebody out there loves you, somebody appreciates you, somebody wants what you have. So yes. everybody has value. Um, I was raised by black women. Um, you know, I was raised by women. So I naturally am protective over women, and I naturally see the beauty and um, the strength they possess. Like, you know, y'all are the strongest people in the world. So I try to instill that in my clients and my models that, you know, you are beautiful. You have worth. You have value, and it's just right. my job to capture right, it. Right, so, right. Yeah. Okay, so normally um, when we do these high-low art segments and we're talking to people, we talk to artists. Mm -hmm. You are an artist, but with the camera. And so we ask them, you know, what musicians inspire you? But for you, what photographers inspire you? Who do you look up to? Wow, okay, so I'm going to kind of keep it, you know, kind of local. Okay. Um, 
Shout out to my boy up in Charlotte. Uh, his Instagram is the real Teflon behind yes. the lens. Okay. That's my guy in Charlotte. Um, he's been inspiring me a lot lately. Um, it's just another photographer that I've been looking at his work, um, and it's just really inspiring. You know, there's other photographers in the city. Um, you know, Peaceful Visions. You know, um, Henry Jones Photography. Shout just out. shout out to those guys. Just some guys that I talk to on a daily basis. Um, all these guys inspire me. You know, locally. And it's just getting that inspiration from at home. You know, it's so easy mm -hmm. to look at the, the big names in New York or that's Atlanta true, or LA, true. but it's talent right here in the city. Right here. You know, that's unknown, it's undiscovered. And you know, um, like the other guy was saying in his interview, you know, those are the real superheroes. You yeah. know, the, the people, the local yeah. people, those are the ones I get all inspiration from. Um, you know, even family members, like that's where the inspiration comes from, the people that surround me daily. Um, so that's that's where I get my inspiration. So um, you mentioned growing up with a black mother, um, and I just want to know as a black male and mm -hmm. just a male period, and you turning into this phenomenal man with so much success, how was it growing up? And if you could talk to little Dion, what would you tell him? Uh, little Dion, I would tell him, you know, everything your mother is telling you, don't just look at it as fussing. You know, she, she's saying yeah. it for a reason, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, everything yeah. that she used to get on me about, I'm more and more, I'm like, dang, she was right about that. Right. Oh, she's right about that. Okay, that's why she told me this. Okay, that's why, so, you know, my mom is the hardest working person I know, other than my grandma. So, I mean, I got that inspiration, that work ethic is from her. Like, I've always seen her working. Like, yeah. I've never seen her just relaxing and chilling. She always went and got it. She made sure we had it. She did whatever she had to do. She's turned down plates so me and my sister could eat. Mm. And that's just, that wow. inspiration, that's my drive to keep going. Like, she never took a foot off the gas. So it's my job, I mean, I gotta make sure she's straight. I gotta make sure my sister's straight. So I gotta work twice as hard to make sure they're taken care of. So. Wow. Shout out to the mamas. For shout real, out to the mamas. Clap it up. Oh. And to all the single parents, whether right. it's a father or a mother, shout right. out to y'all. So that's that's a beautiful story. And it just asks me, um, it just makes me want to ask you about your brand. So we talk about, you know, you growing up in this single parent household, you being this black man, you wanting people to feel beautiful and enhanced and just give them their vision. What is your vision? What is Turner Photos? What do you have to offer for us? So basically, you know, we all know that the photography industry is very oversaturated. Right, um, right. You know, everybody picks up a camera and they're a photographer now. So <laughs> the, the difference between, you know, me and, and other people who might not take it serious is that I'm coming at you with a very creative mind. Okay. Um, I'm not just a photographer, so that's the difference. You know, mm. I, I do other things. I'm in other art spaces. Mm -hmm. So, and, and all, I have different life experiences too. So all of those play a, a, a fact in, my vision, like, it's not just influenced by photography, it's influenced by many other things. Um, like I said, I was an actor first. Yeah. The photography thing, I kind of stumbled onto it, okay. but I'm an actor first, so with that, I'm able to connect with clients more easy than other people because I'm always portraying other characters. I'm always connecting with people on stage, so it just translate in the photography world. Putting yourself in their shoes. Exactly, I so you. I know I how people you. feel, so exactly, exactly. So when we talk about putting yourself in other people's shoes mm -hmm. um, and you just meeting people from different backgrounds and, and different areas, how do you show that with your photography? What makes you different? Because you say you're not a photographer. What do you mean by that? Right, so I see myself really as just like a visual storyteller. Wow. Um, just a storyteller in general because I'm always telling a story in some way. So if you look at my Instagram, turn for those 12, shameless Club. Come on, shout turn for those 12. Shout if it you out. check out my Instagram, you'll see um, a, a diverse, you know, platform. I mean, you see, I do studio pictures, I do indoor, you know, I mainly shoot women, but I shoot men too. Um, I do creative shoots, I do clients, I do commercial work, I do events, like I do everything. So you won't just see just one particular style, you just kind of see that um, consistent mm. storytelling. Right. You know, everybody has a story to tell. Whether I'm in the river with you doing a creative shoot, ah. or someone's doing a mommy and me photo shoot with their son, it's the same thing, telling stories. Um, and I'm just privileged to be able to tell black stories that we don't really see wow. that often, you know. More, put it more in light. For the brown faces. Right, right, right. So, um, it just leads me to ask you, um, how has COVID affected, you know, just everything that you have going on? and? What do you think about the current state of the world and how can your photography change that or add to what's going on? Wow, okay, no pressure, no pressure. No pressure. Um, 
We all know COVID, COVID's been crazy, right? COVID like, is the COVID. world is completely different. You know what I'm saying? I got my face mask in my pocket. You know, COVID is crazy. But um, initially, COVID shut everything down. Okay. Um, people were canceling things. Clients were like, you know, I'm, I'm too scared to come outside a shoe. You know, um, you know, everything was shut down. But what I learned is COVID, not only, at first it was all negative, but COVID kind of brought a, a weird type of renaissance mm -hmm. Wow. coming up because people are like okay people are losing loved ones they were losing friends they were losing people that they know that they've been talking to um and people started to realize okay life really is short, short. okay i need pictures okay i want to capture this moment okay i want a picture of my grandmother okay i want a picture of my child okay i want to go ahead and get married to this person and and document that so COVID actually boosted my business tremendously because people started coming out of the woodworks and just wanting to capture those memories because we all realize firsthand, you know, you're here today, you could be going Go tomorrow. tomorrow. So let's cap, let's let's take uh, pride in the present. Let's capture what we can now. Let's make those memories last forever through pictures. So um, initially, it was bad, but over time, COVID has really established me as a, not only just a photographer but as a person. So how do you think what with what you're doing? How do you think that um, you can impact the world? And and what are you trying to do with the world? Got you. So I think, and we kind of spoke on it um, earlier, like really just showing people that beauty that, that they don't usually see. You know, you know, you look at the Vogue magazines and, you know, you see a certain type of model every time. Every but what time. happens if you see other types of models? Wow. What happens if you see different types of beauty that you're not, you know, used to seeing, you know, in the magazines, on the big screen, all of that. You know, I'm slowly but surely getting into filming um, video and stuff. So what happens when we start putting out, be you know, indie black stories, you know what I'm saying? The, the short films and what happens when we start showing the world, wait a minute, there's more to just this. You know, there's, there's a different narrative that you don't usually see. And if I can help, you know, influence that in any way, you know, I'm honored to do so. That's beautiful. Um, also, what's today's day? Today is the 20th, October and that's, 20th. That's your birthday. Yesterday was my birthday. That's your, yeah, let's yeah, clap it up. So, because you're a present to us, and just a present to anybody that's watching, we just want to thank you so much for coming here, um, just giving us this interview, and before you leave, not only do we want you to give out um, your contact information, but shout out your mom, and give the shout outs to the ones, you know what I'm saying, who really deserve it. Right, right, so uh, Ma, shout out to you, you already know how we rocking, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. Um, I can't wait to give you the world. That's when I know I made it, when I can take you anywhere and say, hey, pick it out, it's yours. That's beautiful. Um, my sister, she at work right now. She grinding just Come like my um, sis. Yeah, she, she a hard worker too. Shout out to you. And I say them specific, uh, specifically because they're who I'm with every day. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Um, Your dream they, team. Right. They see me in my woes, see me in my highs, and they still love me regardless. So shout out to y'all for real. I love y'all. Um, I can't name everybody um, because it, I'll be here all night. A shout out to everybody who has supported me from day one, even before I picked up the camera. Mm -hmm. Shout out to y'all, y'all know who y'all are. Shout out to the people who keep me on track, um, who, who make sure I'm straight, who make sure I take time for myself. Um, shout out to you, I'm gonna use you to represent ah. the models I work with. Uh, shout out to y'all for believing in me and letting me practice and um, just push out those stories. And shout out to Hollow Art for having me on the black couch. I'm on the couch, y'all. Come on, we're on the couch. I'm on the, the couch, couch y'all. Got the lights on, man, it's beautiful. Shout out to y'all, shout out to the Golden Den, the um, Hennessy Honey Wings. Y'all, come on, man, you gotta get the wings. She just ate about eight of them before Let's we sat on the couch, so uh, shout, shout out to the Golden Den. But um, thank you, That's, I'm just grateful, thank you. Um, thank before you. we close the interview, of course you need to give all your ad information so right, that y'all right. can book him today. He travels, you do not just have to be in the Carolinas. Right. He will come to y'all and he's worth it. Um, I just wanna say personally, you know, many are called, but few are chosen. Mm -hmm. And I remember a couple years back, my very first time stepping in front of your camera, I didn't know what was on the inside of me just yet. And I'm still figuring that out, but as far as when it comes to beauty and how I looked at myself, and you gave me this comfortability that that many people can't. You know, I didn't feel as if I was being shot by a photographer. I felt that I was discovering something within myself that God always wanted me to see. Wow. So shout out to you. Thank you. And Thank if y'all want that experience, I'm telling y'all, this is no cap for no interview. 
y'all please book him. Thank you, thank you. So information. you can catch me on Facebook at DK Turner Photography. You can check out my personal too, it's just DK Turner. That's DK Turner Photography. And on Instagram, I am Turner Photos 12. <laughs> Turner Photos 12 on Instagram. Connect with me. Thank y'all. Shout out to Hollow Art. Y'all heard it here first. Yeah. Let's see how you say it, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. thank you. Uh, thank you.